Hey, how's it going everyone? Uh, ben here, Augment Guitars, and uh, I just wanted to give a nice rundown of the spray booth I've been working on. So as you've seen on social media posts and things like that, I've been um, saying that I've been making a spray booth and uh, basically here it is. So it is almost done. I have to just kind of button up a couple things, um, you know, with the design and mainly the guitar holder and things like that. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to, uh, you know, give an update and actually show you what's going on. So um, here's the booth. Uh, I made it out of a U-line rack that I purchased online. Um, I'm not too sure of the dimensions, but um, it's about, I want to say, probably like five feet by, um, I think it's 60 in inches deep. So uh, as you can see, I have a couple different doors here. Uh, I'll go over this first. This is a storage cabinet up here. And on the other side of this panel is actually the uh, explosion proof fan and the whole housing for that. It's all sealed. I have a two stage filtration system for this and then an exhaust out the side of my house. Uh, so um, up here, it's pretty much, I'm gonna put the guns up here. I have a holder that I'm gonna make. And um, I have some oil and stuff up here, but basically all the big cans and things like that uh, will be in here. So. Um, I have a big wall of finishes on the other side of my workshop that I want. Take that and put it pretty much all in here and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that as well. So um, this is the top compartment. It's held together or it closes with uh, magnetic catches. So as you can see, it's a nice strong connection there. So um, the main booth right here, this is what I'll show you. This is the, the, the main event here. So um, I have the booth. This is what I've been working on. Um, and with this, um, I have uh, flame-resistant paper uh, coating the whole booth. I have, like I said, the two-stage filter. I have a primary filter that gets all the big particles, and there's a uh, kind of like a mesh behind that. It's almost it almost looks like a uh, almost like a white Brillo pad, and that collects all of the bigger particles and things like that. Let me move this over here. Um, and then that goes up into the air box with a secondary filter, which is a really strong um, HVAC filter that gets all of the small to medium sized particles. And then all of the vapors and things like that get exhausted outside of the house. Like I said, the fan is explosion proof, so everything is super safe. And um, you know, I'll be wearing a mask and everything, but um, way better than just spraying in the basement or just even outside in the garage. So this will really help me in you know, pump out some solid color and polyurethane, polyester finishes like that um, year round. So um, in a controlled environment because I'm in the basement. So, um, but as you can see, uh, very spacious here. I got this LED light, um, 5,000 uh, Kelvin units. So true bright light, which is uh, good for painting and stuff like that. So I have the guitar holder here. I still have to make a couple of these mounts, um, but this is kind of the system here. So. Um, I'll be spraying here and this pivots, swivels, and I can adjust it and spray as I need to. Uh, and I'll, well, let me bring you closer so you can see it. So I'm in closer here. So uh, let me show you how it works. Uh, it's really slick. I made all of this out of um, pretty much, this is half inch conduit um, that you would use for electrical work and stuff like that. And I have a bunch of elbows and fittings. Um, and this main pipe that's threaded into here goes to the, uh, the bottom um, area where all the uh, the drawers are going to be and everything and uh, it allows it to pivot and everything um, uh, pretty pretty nice pretty freely uh, I didn't have a welder um, I'm not good at welding I've never done it before so I just used some uh, JB weld epoxy on all these joints it worked pretty good uh, pretty good so far but um, this the guitar holder I made out of a three quarter inch conduit uh, and I kind of just crimped it and shaped it to fit into the neck pocket. So works pretty good. So what this does is it'll, it allows me to, um, since this is three quarter, I can take these off and I can hang these, you know, for when they're curing and stuff like that. And then this is half inch. So I can just thread this on there. It moves about freely. I can spin it. So when I'm spraying, I can get all the different angles that I need. So works really well, works really well. So I'm really excited to start using it. Uh, I'm gonna make another kind of jig for uh, like neck through bodies that are you know one piece and everything. So um, that's in the works right now. But I just wanted to show you, you know how it's gonna go. So I'm really excited to start using it and uh, pumping out some cool finishes. So. 
Previously, I, I had the Stumac system that had a little wheel on it and you can adjust it and it clamps into a vise and that's what I was going to use, but I decided to use this because it has a little bit more ergonomics. It's a little smaller than that one. Um, this is about, I think, 25 inches uh, and that's what I needed because of the dimensions of the booth. I wish it was a little deeper, but um, this is pretty much all I could get. But it also works with the Stumac... Um, holders as well, the mounters. So uh, it's a little tight, but you can still spin it freely. Um, I'll probably use this for next because I can um, spray it. I don't need too much movement. And then when I get to this, the end area here, I can kind of set it and it'll stay as you can see. And then I can spray it freely and everything too. So, and then this, as soon as I'm done, you know, I can hang it somewhere else to cure with these nice little um, peg systems. So really cool, really excited to start using this. So that's the main booth part. Um, the second part uh, that I want to cover is this, um, and I'll close this so the camera light is a little bit better, um, is this, this compartment down here. So this is going to be, eventually, I still have to make it uh, drawers. And what I was talking about earlier, I want to get all of the finishing supplies that I have on that wall and put it down here in drawers so I can get some shop space back to put my drill press and things back over there because right now they're shoved in the corner by my uh, electrical um, panel box, which I, I don't like. So um, eventually that's going to have a bunch of drawers, tons of storage, um, and it's going to be really nice. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. But uh, this has been a long project in the making. and. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to start doing these finishes because right now I'm just limited to doing finishes out in my garage um, per the weather, you know what I mean, with humidity and things like that. So um, this is going to really be a game changer with my uh, finishing and stuff like that. So really excited for that. Um, but yeah, thanks for um, being patient, everyone with uh, me building this. I know I stopped taking clients and stopped taking orders and things like that because I wanted to focus on this. This has been a, a big thing that I've been trying to work towards for a really long time. And right now, um, I just had to, you know, take some time off, not take any clients and actually get this done because um, as, you know, guitar repair people know, um, it's just that it kind of eats all your time up, you know, especially if you want to do your own custom builds which that's what I'm more towards, you know, working towards. So, that red right, but, um, yeah. I just want to say thanks for the support, everybody. Uh, I'm going to be, I filmed a video series for this, start to finish building this thing as long as well with the, the guitar holders and things like that. So, that's all going to be on my YouTube channel here in a couple months. Um, I still want to get a month or two of spraying a couple builds that I have in the backlog and really get to know the booth, make some adjustments if I need to. Um, but um, I did a couple test sprays and things that just with some aerosol cans and uh, it's, it just, it worked great. So really excited for it. Um, and uh, yeah, so expect some cool solid color finishes here soon. Uh, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.